Uh, what's up guys? This is the Brightman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Portugal and in this episode we are being mobbed by an enormous Württemberg force. Um, it's going to be pretty interesting. The, usually it's the initial wave is the most problematic because afterwards they come in one unit at a time and then dealing with them becomes simpler. But the plan will 100% be to blow a breach in the walls and then lure them to their deaths. So let's get to it. We have a small force of reinforcements coming in. So as infantry units run out of ammunition, they will be sent to fight in the breach. And then they will break and run and allow us to bring in fresh troops. The, uh, the artillery is going to be super helpful for us. Uh, we get to choose what wall to break because the enemy doesn't have any artillery. So we can, we can build a proper killing zone. And hopefully completely obliterate the Württemberg army so I'm really quite in I'm really quite excited to play this because these are the kind of these are the kind of battles you don't really get to fight so much in Empire unless you've put yourself in quite a sticky position um normally you can build your forces prepare them array them locate them exactly the way you want for your attack or the uh, attacks with smaller forces but this time we got a lot of tools to <gasps> and we get defenses so, they're pointing over this way, so we're going to make a breach. That one's technically the, technically the best one, but it's difficult to aim at because the armory's in the way. It's good to have the armory there because you can build a really good um, defensive position, but it's easier and faster to breach these walls here. So I'm going to place my guns back here. Because I can take a infantry unit and then place them into the command HQ, and they won't, as units cross the uh, square, my infantry can shoot at them before they, without you know shooting into the back of my guns. Do the same there. So you're going to go for, but you're going to go for uh, trenches. We're going to place stakes here because you've been deployed okay then we're going to want overlapping so if you put stakes here my experience is it kind of doesn't ever really work it, especially if you do it in the breach I've seen enemy, enemy AI jump over them um, which is a bit weird so I tend to position them away from the walls and kind of overlap them that seems to work so we're not going to garrison this. We are going to garrison a numerous section of the walls. We do have lots of enemy units that want to push, that are going to push us. So we're going to put a large contingent on the walls ready. So I got my, obviously my howitzers are going to be crucial. Then that is everybody, because I have no general. Let's just pull my men back numerous different ways, because my foot artillery needs to attack. Attack ground at the base of the wall and rely on the shots bouncing. So the, the defences may get destroyed or get in the way in general. Oh, they're firing canister. That's not going to work. Keep firing. My howitzers are firing upon this unit of pikes. Let's get one of them to target a different unit. Once we get, once we breach the wall, actually, I might put one of these units up here. Once we breach the wall, things will be go quite well. So it is pity we missed a shot there. See, some fire short, but some go over. I don't know if these get destroyed by artillery fire. That will be quite an interesting experiment. So 
so the howitzers are still firing. Probably just getting them to target units out front. They don't have any gates they can get in. You're all going to be positioned back here. So that, again, the units in the armory, if they push down here, these men can fire. 18%. we can make that breach it will be rather we destroyed one of our own guns from friendly fire unfortunate not critical excellent ultimately we want to target different units because they've been knocked down to half strength they'll break quite quickly so we want to keep chipping away at strong units May push. So there goes some provincial cav. Pikemen are on there, are running away, but they'll probably come back. You may just keep firing. So here, cavalry charges, but there's no, there's no effort to really charge from. You men are not well placed because they can't properly garrison the armory not at this strength so these men need to do something like this thirty eight percent I mean it's gonna be risky when they do get in I mean the cavalry are not, are not gonna be a problem it's gonna be the infantry good retarget that unit of militia, you target that unit of infantry. Because these guys will break quickly. We've killed an enemy general, Frederick Lenz. They keep trying to charge, but there's no one to charge. They can't get in. See, their firing arc means they will fire into the center. It's not optimal. Um, I mean, you may get some friendly fire from these guys, but the volleys are, wor are more worthwhile than a bit of friendly fire. Targets. Units that are far away. I mean, when the time comes, one of these units, probably this one, will focus quick climb on the breach. Good, this is going to be a good hit. Oh, yes. Perfectly angled for a quick line to be the most destructive it can possibly be. And then, hopefully, the idea is if they make it, when, when we make a breach here, they'll all run around. Oh, miss. That could have been an excellent hit against the pikes. Killed another enemy general. August Mering. You men make ready and fire. Once these guys have finished making the breach, they're going to switch to canister shot, which is in range. I did check. And they're just going to blast the breach with, with canister shot. We just have to lure them in. There we go. Here comes the cavalry. Focus fire the breach. This unit's the furthest quicklime unit away. So just get them to focus fire the breach as well with quicklime. This unit can keep targeting. Keep targeting specific units. First quicklime hit comes in. It's the general's staff. So the general themselves are dead. Yeah, they've been repelled, shattered. Here comes the general's bodyguard again. Plenty of cavalry, which if they make it, so they're gonna charge. Let it straight in. X 
excellent. Another general dead. This unit made it through the breach. But they definitely won't make it anywhere. I could fire shrapnel, but I'm afraid it might um, burst over the barricades. Oh, excellent canister shots. That's right, come on, try get into the breach. Okay, this unit. Just start knocking out units, I suppose. Here comes the pikemen. That's where one unit of reinforcements are coming in from here, so they're going to get shot as they come all the way around the front. So you always attack ground with like things like quick climb here, because there's no point. It's easy just to let them keep firing rather than trying to coordinate it. They haven't worked out the breach yet. Cavalry. This would be an excellent quick climb shot, but we can't get there only with round shot. Okay, let's get this unit to actually focus the quick coat, focus the um, pikemen just to make sure they don't soak up all our musket fire. Here comes the first regiment of horse, provincial cavalry. They've realised it's a bad idea. These guys are soaking up all of artillery fire, but not musket fire, really. No, all just the guns firing. to round shot and bombard this block just to force them to move. You just keep on keep on picking away at them. They come to the first regiment, they've lost five men. They've decided now's the time. First shots ring out from the armory. No hits. How's it looking, fellas? Not good. Give us a tune, lad. Give us a tune. Oh. It's just not on. Oh, you've... Oh, no, you're... No, sorry. That's units from the wall shooting at them. They're going to advance in column. Interesting strategy. The shots taking some down. Excellent. The round shot hits are starting to uh, starting to come in. I won't be surprised. They actually might not necessarily attack. They may choose to just stand off and not get involved. They may feel they can't actually take us. Big cavalry charge. So it's this 170 cavalry. This is why you have the. Uh, this is why you have the state. So this weak unit's going to soak up all of our initial volleys. Oh, you've changed your minds. The wavering. You haven't even lost any men. They'll come back. They've only lost one. Two. Your job is just to keep picking off routing units, get fresh ones in. Here comes the second wave. See, they don't want to attack either. Nope, they've changed their minds. Or have they? Come on in. The ground's lovely. You won't get slaughtered. They've changed their minds. You blast them with quick climb, you should get rid of them. But 
I am curious. They may not actually... See, they're shattered. They lost a lot of men. They might just do this. Just bundle up and not... <laughs> that's a bad plan if that's what they do. So let's see... Yeah, send all your cavalry in, please. I mean, are they just going to um, cluster together in one giant block? Which, if they are, it's going to be Quicklime City. Well, not Quicklime City, Roundshot City. Yeah, they don't know how to uh, deal with this. So, a howitzer is going to have to keep picking at them from a distance. Overshot. Let's see if this cavalry actually comes back in. Because it might just come here and sit still like they have done in the past. You're coming in. I was hoping attacking them with artillery would make them aggro on me. <laughs> oh, here they all come. Oh, yes. Speaking, the optimum way to have played that would have been to just ceasefire everyone and let them run into the stakes and then then shoot back. But to be honest, that's kind of not in the spirit of the of the game, I don't think. Because look at all these shattered, broken, shattered, wavering, broken. Again, so the charge of the light brigade. So you came back, maybe you'll back up your buddies. Real killing field right here. And shots are shredding them as well. Okay, let's use my... Make sure my quick time howitzers keep on trying to pick off these units. We want to start getting in fresh units with updated um, logic. Your, your ammunition states are dodgy, but not dangerous. They're about half strength. But a lot of units, they've still got a lot of ammunition. Well, actually, the infantry, these units, they may stay on ceasefire until infantry start to push. Because until then, you know, why worry? Let's speed up time a minute. I want to see what, what goes on. You're going to should have engaged them with your muskets. Come on, shuffle around. Sometimes you have to redeploy them. And then give them a fire at will order. No, some, well, sometimes they're better than sometimes they're better than others. So everyone except people in the buildings are on 
are on a ceasefire, so let's see. Oh, poor fella. You're trying to, still trying to. This unit's just being very robust. You're still chipping away back here. But it's probably better just to keep firing quickly with the reinforcements coming in. So you might fire at them, just to stop them from sucking up all this unit's ammunition. So sometimes the AI kind of screws up kind of screws up uh, deploying on the walls when there's people so say this unit for example should be lined up like these guys but they aren't Aha, they are now but say if the unit climbed up here they would weirdly stop doing this and then start shooting along the wall so the AI logic can be a bit dopey they get firing again Mercenaries, Garrison Regiment. Excellent. Good, you finally got rid of that unit, so then you can get to work on the 7th. Okay, I think the AI's logic's just going to kind of collapse. The, none of the infantry have managed have tried to push in yet. It's only the cavalry. Let's see if you change it. You, you break the mould. Okay, it's going to unit on to ready to fire. Oh no, you're going to do everything except push in. Hmm. Come on, they must be broken now. Fourteen men left. I'm gonna say. Start trying to make units route. speed up time because right now they're not doing anything except just kind of shooting at us from the wall and that's kind of kind of dumb. We're shooting at us up on the walls. I mean I know they can't really do anything else but come on push in. Do something at least. How it's as wrap up and away. Good hits. It's a couple more, couple more units routed. Ah, they're coming in. A couple of volleys were still on. Yeah, they're shattered too. Yeah, I think they are just largely chilling out back here because they don't want to really attack. So in that case, then I'm going to speed up time and let my artillery mop people up. Because otherwise we'll take up too much time seeing not very much happen. So you're going to go on to them. You're going to go on to them. Keep on bombarding them. This unit might. Oh, yeah, you need to take out them. My mistake. Ok, 
becomes a unit of militia. A unit of militia. Let's let let's see if they actually come in first for a slow down time. There we go. Two units in the crossfire with the guns. There you go, banners high. Have they thought better of their actions? Well, they're doing quite well. The 26th Regiment. Engage this unit. Slaughter them. Shatter them if we can. Canister shots flying over their heads. Ah, oh, they're both shattered. Ideal. Here, one of you is going to go back on to round shot and keep picking at this force here. Because right now, these guys are not going to commit, whereas at least the reinforcements are coming in. So let's not focus on them. Focus on these guys with at least one of the units of howitzers. We have still got one working on the first regiment because they're just standing here. All of my units have got a single chevron of experience. I mean, once they run out, of, run out of ammunition, they're probably just going to stay there. I'm not going to really rotate units around, because it's a bit of a waste. There we go, the 2nd from the 27th. Not as brave as their this the Regiment from the 26th. Weakest unit with one. You men keep focusing on the large cluster. Fast forward until the 34th come in. Then we'll watch them get slaughtered. And then rinse and repeat. Another unit coming in over on the right. Yeah, they're making across the open fields, but they won't make it as far. Because now more of my units are ready to shoot. Our guns fire, we might go to shatter them. No, sadly not. No, one of our units. Okay. Split the fire again against these units. Just don't want to deal with time wasters. That's what these units are. Standing around doing nothing. Either attack or run. One or the other. Here comes the 30th. 30th Regiment of Militia. Although I would wager they are not going to be super effective. No. no, they don't fancy it either. They see all the dead bodies, all the dead horses and go, you know what? bad idea. So you got to wonder, these guys, do these guys route, then they recover, and then, then they don't push any push forward any further? That might be the pattern. Because that's what they've just done. Is that a general pushing in? It is. Here comes the 34th. He's pushed in close, but they've, they've, a couple of units have been lucky to miss most of the grape shot. Canister shot, but it's on land. I am I a mistake? Oh, they make it. Oh, they're stepping to the side. These guys are shattered. Even more reinforcements are coming in from the other direction now. That general's bodyguard's getting shot to pieces. Yeah, he didn't like it either. 
You guys are actually shooting. There you are, you're just taking a long time to reload. Boom, boom. Just try breaking it and push them back, because right now this is just a big old waste of time. These units. At least these guys look like they might actually attack. And that's something at least. Although you, interestingly, let's see if you get pushed back and then you get pushed back and then decide not to push forward. Let's see if you stand. Yeah, you do. Interesting. So <laughs> you're just going to stop. They're never going to do anything, even though they're not going to push. Oh, we missed the 31st getting routed. Might miss most of the shrapnel. Oh, well, they got shattered though. That's important. Hmm. Okay. So you're finally getting upset from cannon fire from the town. Retarget. Thirty fourth should break soon. These guys at least should be being engaged by actually well, still these guys back here being engaged by guns from the wall. Eventually they should break. But if they leave it too long, then our howitzers will be able to supplement that that fire with a round shot. Thirteen they're gonna get I mean, I said I wasn't going to push people back, but because this is actually working really well... First of all, these might actually run down here. Yeah, I think it must be impacting their logic. Once they've been pushed back, they get they, they reform and then decide, actually, this is a really bad idea. But they don't retreat out of artillery range, they just... Stop. Because you're going to do the same? Yeah, you are. <laughs> and that's how we will win the battle. Because the enemy will... The enemy will run. Oh, those guys are shattered, thankfully. See, they're still coming. they got lots and lots of infantry. Cavalry coming in. Come on in, fellas. The water's warm. Just keep on trying to quick line them to get them to run. Otherwise, we are going to be here forever. Are you going to, you going to push in or are you just going to chill out? I mean, you're going to push in once the unit above the gate gets into position. Otherwise, you're just going to get shot to ribbons. You men are unbloodied. Oh, the cavalry are the enticing target, eh? Anyway, keep speeding up. Right now, it's only our howitzers that are going to allow us to finish this. Here comes the 14th. No. They're not happy. Don't worry, I'm sure the 5th will be great. Hey, they're actually bayonet charging off the bat. They're probably trying to get into the armory. No, they're ready. They want to push. They want to throw down. This red one is going to open fire. Oh, well, there they go. Hey, they made it over the wire, though. Hey, they're actually going to make it. Ooh. Although not for, not for long. They've started to wave almost immediately. We've lost a couple of men in bayonet attacks. Yeah, they're done for. Oh, they're running out of reinforcements. That's why the AI is now throwing them into the attack.
your ammunition state's good. You're going to push these guys back, no trouble. You waited too long to push in. All of the troops you've sent in so far. No, zero help. We've got lots of firepower ready and waiting. See, they just sat there waiting with their artillery. Let's see if they fire it. Sometimes the guns kind of bug out. Yeah, they're trying to uh, scale the wall. Birds trying to push in. Good artillery hits. Third regiment trying to get a toehold. <laughs> yeah, no, they don't want any part of that. It looks like they actually might try and try and throw grappling hooks up, but then just result to resolve uh, resort to uh, just trying to swarm the breach. Here comes the 11th Regiment of Provincial Cav. They've lost a lot of their a lot of their number. So I think the trick is actually to leave bigger gaps between them, so then they think they can kind of thread their way through. And they commit more to the charge. I mean, you can't say they don't charge, because they do. They just generally don't make it that far. And they're all gone. of bad times. Here comes the 13th. Yes, they definitely will charge straight through barricades, because they're going for it. They change their mind. Give us a tune. Yay! Ah. Oh. <laughs> we are nearly at the end. Trying to push through. 13th, they're going to break. There goes the 18th. Everyone focus on these infantry units because they are all that's left of this once proud Württemberg army. It may have been dangerous on the open field, but in the city, in a siege battle, it was naught but fodder. got more reinforcements come on in sir hey we actually managed to get some cover in a minute at this range oh god more reinforcements they have not had enough Try plink at the cavalry, see if that will entice them to charge. Otherwise, knowing they will just be constantly picked off by our artillery. Yep, here comes more. And more. Some of our units have got three experience chevrons. God, yeah, we have really haven't, we've really not done them in. <laughs> Quick time shot. Yes, thank God these guys to commit. You guys are going to get quick line to Helen back. It's going to be beautiful. Oh, I missed it. Went quite well. Wavering, wavering, confident. Good hit. Still coming. Oh, the artillery from the fort's just shredding them.
can go after this militia regiment because they're sat around doing nothing. The round shot did a lot of good damage. You are starting to expend your ammunition. Broken, broken, but they will come back. More cavalry. More infantry. I thought we were... I thought we were uh, we'd reached a new point. Well, apparently not. Oh, here comes the 23rd. There you go. Shattered, so they're not coming back. You don't fancy it. You're going to run in front of my men and be engaged. Here comes the 13th. Nope. They've changed their mind. Okay, I think my quick lens should focus on the infantry because the cavalry will be dealt with by the stakes if they ever decide to actually push. Another large cavalry attack. Send them all in. Yeah, they're, gonna, they're not even going to make it. Shattered, broken, broken. Just swarming. Yeah, there we go. Focus on the infantry. The cavalry is... No problem at all. If they even make it, that's a lot of dead cavalrymen right there. One volley. There goes the 20th. They're shattered. Got the 24th and the 25th. Nearly out of ammunition. They're not, they're not even going to make it to the wall either, are they? You firing the cannons? Yeah, you are. Good. Right into the cavalry. Okay, so they've they've built up another little force. You, you're going to run out of run out of ammo. The interesting thing is, if they run out of musket ammo, do they keep firing the guns? That's what I'd like to know. No, they don't. They completely abandon them. their position. You men will actually we'll keep them on the walls just as they're, they're a bit of a melee reserve at the rear. There we go. This, this force is bringing in their troops to bear now. Yeah. Howitzers, man. Howitzers. one of you keep working on the 30th because they're about to route. I mean, but yeah we're going to see the timer out six minutes six minutes in game time but I don't think we're going to what a waste and how deliciously perfect it is for our follow on forces so even troops they don't bring to bear will be attrited as a result Foolish fellow, we didn't even need to bring in our reinforcements. Good stuff. Yeah, I think I might just see the timer out. It looks like all we want to do is 
just kind of pick at us with muskets. They're not gonna they're not gonna storm. They may these guys may push in, which would be interesting. But for now I'll just let my artillery just mow down anybody that stands in our way. Alright, you're gonna do the same. Even though you have grappling irons, you're still not interested. It must just be their logic decides it's not a good idea. Hey! First actual attempt to scale the wall. At least they're trying something different. Well, they're more of the same. How about you? These men are two ranked veterans. up here again, big mistake. It's probably got to go for this look. Let's go with this lump for all, with all of my artillery. I've only got two minutes left. Get a bunch of kills if we land some shots in there. Misfire. Exactly two minutes remaining. Let's see if we can land a good musk a good uh, how it's a shot on that blob. Right now, the enemy is just not getting involved. Shells in the air. Good hit. Exceptional hit. Huge damage. Huge. See, so you still want to push in, but they're going to walk this time. Focus on this front blob. See if we can get another volley off in time. Just clip the corner. If you can hit the front unit, you'll get some extra, extra good kills. But I don't know if we're going to get them in time. 30 odd seconds remaining. Still haven't reloaded. Shells away. I think they've gone after. Oh, we got a good hit. Yes. Right on. We've tried it. Eight seconds. Yeah, we're not going to kill anyone else with quick line. Not enough time. We have won. The center is ours. And not a single enemy has touched it. Heroic victory for our garrison. <laughs> they just weren't able to do anything. We just cut them to ribbons. I mean, they still got 12,000 remaining. They killed 41 of my men, and I killed 8,000. Well, 4,000, actually. Those the, the reason why there's a massive discrepancy is the area effect of quicklime doesn't actually count to my kills, um, but they are still effectively useful kills. They're, they're not kills as far as in, as far as XP is concerned. Because you can see why my infantry have racked up so many more kills than my artillery. That's why round shots really feels like it's really good for building up experience, but quick is really good for just killing. Back you go, you devils. Yes, you're scampering off into the hills. Actually running into some kind of inconvenient directions. But you are now completely exposed for my counter-strike. My swift riposte. Once my tickers ticked. Right, right, right. Path blocked. Don't, yeah, don't worry about it. Plenty of Austrians there. 
but nothing for us to worry about because you are going to deal with them in due course. First of all, let's check all my... Another... Ha! Ah, another na army. I know just what to do with you. You're going to smash your way through this Austrian uh, Austrian Navy. Not that, not overly bothered about making sure I kill them all, but better to be safe. Then put into Sandy Bay for repairs. Navy, Navy, Navy. Actually, we could do a Natch and Grab. You not get there. Fortunate. I was hoping to do a Snatch and Grab in the Balkans. Right, that's as far as you get. Okay, let's ship you off to Syracuse. And then next time we'll use you to push somewhere else. We've done the fleet arrives. New minute, new set of ministers. They're all pretty good. We don't really need to worry about optimizing it. There's no massive gaps. Keep going with the upgrades. Now you're at war with us. Sweden's allied. Savoy's allied. That could be actually quite a massive, fun naval battle. Because everyone will be involved in that. Real school in Venice, just get building. Good. Great port, Baghdad. Keep learning a new system of government. Grand Opera House is great. Grand almost. Ha <laughs> ha Okay, built the seminaries. You're building your happiness buildings, so you chill out a little bit. You know what? Build a coach house. Nice. All of artillery recruitment still ongoing, but uh, the first thing we want to do is knock out Württemberg. So one army will do it. Because it's only going to be the garrison plus this, unit, this army coming in to reinforce them, which is nothing. Um, we can take the weakest unit and bolster everybody else and that'll probably do um, but I'm going to want to take Bavaria I'm going to want to take Stuttgart I'm going to want to fight this naval battle because I believe if I fight it well we will bring in Savoy and Sweden and Sweden's got a, got some heavy first-rate ships on the line. So that will be a slaughter. So much so, I'm probably going to pull this navy out. Out from Thessaloniki. And fight it. I think that's what I'm going to do. Or just, no, actually, no, I can keep you here bottling up that large fleet. Use you. Congratulations, generic first reach of the line. Bartholomew is ready. You're going to be ready to deploy against Athens. If we knock this fleet out... I mean, we've got a sloop. And we've got a few sloops here. Actually, we can, yeah, we can, can, we can begin our invasion next turn. Let's bring you guys down. Well, one of you down to here. 
Actually, maybe both of you. I think Ankara is going to chill out. Yep, they've chilled out a lot. Awesome. Get you guys up here just to bolster Istanbul. I mean, you might just cr you may cross over and attack anyway because the reinforcements are weak. Lots of a small number of elite troops hold Istanbul. Take ISC, build up, reinforce. So you may actually swing. Actually, no, you're, you are going to bolster, push through this gap as well. Can you guys leave Lviv? You can. So these troops are going to advance on Hungary just to keep the pressure up. But I think I... Yeah, see, I think you, you're you a bit scary because it looks like you're ready to try and attack me, which is a bit spooky. We've also got Genoa to take care of. I think once we knock out Württemberg, this garrison army may, may go to Milan. And we're going to fortify it as well, just to make sure if they fancy getting up to mischief, we will be able to take them out. I mean, you're ready to jump on Tripoli. Actually, you might be primed to jump on Cairo when that kicks off. Uh, but because you've got these guys are set up, I know I'll, I'll, I know I can do them next turn. So I think if I take you and go after you, it should be a completely unnecessary but fun naval battle because ah, oh, they're not joining me. Either way, massive fire superiority, not a problem. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to, be to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.